Welcome back to Scouting to Success, episode four, the final episode, and we found morales. Welcome to episode four of Scouting to Success, and we have success. I'm going to be out here all day. It's pretty much only been here about mm, half hour, maybe 40 minutes. Still a little chilly out, if you can see. But uh, I spotted a morel. We're going to go see what we got. Now, I spotted this one from a distance. I don't even know if that's the one I saw first. But it's the one I see now. We'll zoom in here. See it right there? Now let's see what else we got around here. Let me grab my sack. I want you to notice this bed elm here. Split. Looks recently dead. The bark is only coming off the top. So let's go check this out. Now very carefully, I want to come into this spot because I don't know what's in here. Or how many? So we want to watch our step. I'm already seeing more. There she is. Now, as I've said before, it's okay to pull. And actually, I prefer to pull, pull especially in public land, which I am not because it hides your stubs or your uh, stumps as I call them. I know there's another one, I just saw it and I've lost it. Where did it go? Well, there's one right there, kind of far away. I so said be very careful where you step. I'm in the middle of a patch. Whew. She's a decent sized one there. I'm gonna put these in a little pile. We'll come back and we'll take a... Well, it sounds like a tree fell. This is not the one I saw. It's still here. <laughs> Where? It doesn't look like there's a whole bunch here. I wanna try to get a better view. found it. <laughs> Took me a second. I had to scan again. This one looks nice and fresh too. The other one's probably, well the one I just picked, probably wouldn't last very long. Maybe a few more days. It was looking like it was getting a little moist. These are decent size. Not huge, but decent size. Counts at three so far. This is a decent sized tree, so hopefully they'll be spread out kind of. Yeah, I already see another one right in front of me there. Let's go check her out. Not as big as the others, but definitely gonna pick it. There's another one. Four morels. Uh, uh, uh. All right, here's the one I spotted. Sorry if the cam work's not that great. I'm really trying to watch my step. Oh, it's a decent one there too. Five morels. 
Ah, ah, ah. Now, every little step I take, I'm looking around. I'll stop and pause and look. So I'll give it a little bit more here. Not seeing a whole lot. But no matter, that is very, very much so success and there will be more, I have no doubt. I'm gonna be out here all day, as long as it takes. Well, that's it for this spot, I think. I wanna pack up and move on. Uh, so five, five decent sized ones. That is a nice little meal there, but we'll see if we can't find more. All right, so I've been hunting a long time. That first patch I found this was about 9 a.m. this morning. It's about two in the afternoon. I have been hunting the crap out of this property. Um, I just found that one spot until now. Uh, I'm down in a big grove of sycamore. I mean, they're everywhere. There's a few, some elm mixed in. And I came across this guy right here. This one's looking a little peaked. Got some of that. Uh, see right there? That red uh, going on. I'll pick that off. Uh, and then when I get home, I'll cut off what's good. I mean, that's still good. Just cut off the bad part. Just like you do with anything. And then I looked over and I saw another one over here. Now oh, it's getting ready to rain. Right there. So I have hope. I'm gonna try to, I have to put the camera away because it's starting to rain. So right over here, right up under this. See, it's a nice size yellow there. Actually dropping pack and everything. So I'm gonna spend probably the rest of my time in this area. You're finding yellows like that. Whew. Right over the next bus. Nice one. Nice. Very nice. So right here is where I just found that one. Up under that bush. I see two more. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. Right. Come on, focus, buddy. Oh, they're in there. Get a little closer so you can see. Not very big. They're under the brush. Well, that one's not too bad, but this is going to require some briar diving. Let's see if I can get a good better shot. Right there, two of them. There we are, uh, two of them. This one's got some of that red growth on it. We can cut that off. I guess that one does too. So we'll, just a little bit, not too bad. We'll cut them off, eat the rest. So as you can see, it's, it is quite brushy in here. Uh, doesn't bother me, but it means you gotta kneel down a lot and look under the bushes, uh, under the briars, see what you can find. But there's more here and I'll find them. You see that one right there? That one really wants me to work for it. And that is why all up under there. <laughs> but it's mine. Oh, it's mine. I'll find a way under there somehow. Oh, there she is from a different angle. And I see another one over there under the leaves. So now, I think I might be able to go around and get to those easier. There she is, my treasure. All right, I am gonna have to put the camera down to, to crawl under here, so I'll be back.
All right, that's good. By the way, when doing this, definitely check yourself the ticks afterwards. I'm gonna have war wounds from this, but I don't care. Because this is treasure right here. I don't know why it's not focusing, but <laughs> now I'm gonna set that there because I saw another one under here. Just barely peeking out one of the leaves. Yeah, there it is. I'm gonna keep my eye out for any more. Boom. Oh yeah. Worth a briar dive right there. Now I will have to say, if these were let to grow, these ones look really good. Uh, these could possibly become real monsters. Underneath all this brush, shaded from the sun, as long as they got plenty of moisture, or just enough, I should say, just enough moisture. These could be, some of the monsters people find are in real shady areas late in the season. So don't give up if you think it's late in the season. You just gotta look harder and underneath stuff and you'll find them. Well, I had to shut the camera off. Now we are on iPhone because 10% chance of rain. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, it's raining pretty good here, but there are tons more sycamores and I am gonna keep hunting. Well, the rain stopped. And I'll have to be honest with you, after many hours and uh, not finding anything, I was starting to get discouraged. I'm still not done. I circled around uh, till the sycamores ended, and now I'm going to come back up a little higher on the hill and see what we can find. All right, so uh, I backtracked back down to where I found the first couple by the sycamores. I came across these beauties. Oh, got ourselves a nice yellow right here. Whew. Yeah, she's a nice one. And then right next to it, another nice yellow. All right, say so I'm gonna have a little more than a meal today. Well, the thing about sycamore is you never really find a big patch. I uh, find, I think the most I've found around one tree is five. Uh, usually decent sized yellows though. So if you find a nice stand of sycamore and a lot of them are producing a few morels piece, you can get yourself a sack full. That's what I'm hoping to do here today, because I'm not finding any, uh, just those ones around elms. I'm not finding a whole lot of elms over here, so at least dead ones. But I'll keep looking. I'll tell you, the, I gotta stop putting my camera away, because the moment I do, I end up finding another one. Wow. I'm tired. Just a wee bit tired after finding these morels. Now it's not, I mean that's a decent amount, that's plenty, plenty to be eating on, but it was a hard fought uh, victory on that one. I didn't think I was going to find anything after that first spot, but then I found that, the sycamore. Seems like there's only one section of the sycamore where they grow, uh, so I'll remember that for next year, and that's, so, and also remember that when you're out hunting, that once you find the spot, you don't have to go searching in that entire woods anymore. Of course, you look while you're walking along the way, keep your eye out for newly dead elms or, you know, you still look for morels, but uh, focus on your, on your spots. And that's how you see these people 
getting tons. They know where to go. They already know where to go because they've been there, they found them the year before, and they go back. So if you're new, don't get discouraged. I mean, it happens, it takes time. It is, you gotta persevere to find morels. And once you do, you got your spots, you find plenty. So this is the last episode of Scouting to Success. I'll see you guys next year.